everybody, how's it going? This is Darren with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson. And today I want to show you how to play um, a, uh, it's a song called Night Moves by Bob Seeker. You know, you're, you know, probably familiar with it. Uh, we're just going to do kind of a, uh, you know, it's a simple kind of acoustic rendition of this. But what's great about this song is that it's a really good exercise for rhythm and stuff and kind of getting a different, you know, getting away from just, you know, really straight, forward, simple uh, rhythms. Not that this one is really complicated, but just some of the techniques, you know, it's just kind of going to kick it up a notch. Um, so be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs, and let's get close up and take a look at this. Okay, so the first thing, um, to be in the same key um, as the original song, you're going to need to put a capo on your first fret. And then uh, let's just run through the chords that we're going to be using for this. So the first chord we have is G. Now, since we are capos on the first fret, it moves everything up one fret. So when, I, when I'm saying these uh, frets for playing this chord, it's in reference to the capo. So for example here, when I'm playing this G, um, my, my third finger is actually on the fourth fret. But since we have the capo on the first fret, we're going to call out fourth fret the third fret because from here one two three so everything is going to be in reference to the capo so for that G I'm on the uh, third fret of the low E with my second finger second fret of the A string with my first finger the D and G strings are open and I'm on the third fret of the B string with my third finger and the third fret of the high E with my fourth finger then we have F so, um, a couple of ways we could do F, we could do the full on bar chord, or we could do the, like this, but I really like this particular voicing here, it's actually F over C, because uh, it's an F chord, but we've got a C in the bass. So I'm on the third fret of the uh, A string with my third finger, and I'm on the third fret of the D string with my fourth finger, second fret of the G string with my second finger, and then my first finger is barring the uh, first fret of the second and the first strings. And then from there we go to a C. Now what's nice about this transition, and it does it a lot in this song, is that going from that F to C, our third finger is already where it needs to be, and so is our first finger. So we just simply remove your fourth finger and move your second finger from the second fret of the G string to the second fret of the D string. Like that. And you want to try to work with moving your pinky and your second finger at the same time so that way you know you can make the transition quicker. And also you're going to be at the same time rolling that first finger up so instead of barring the first and the second strings we're just going to roll up so we're just fretting the first fret of the B string but the high E is open. And then we have an E minor. So we've got the low E open, 2nd fret of the A string with my 2nd finger, 2nd fret of the D string with my 3rd finger, and all the rest of the strings are open. Alright, so the song, this main kind of riff that uh, is the intro, and it's like the verses, you know, it's like, you know, the majority of the song. We start, we got the G. So that's kind of that riff that just runs back and forth. So if we think about it like we're on the G, we got, you know, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So for the strum for this, it's... So I'm doing a, str a down stroke, and then I'm hitting the strings. Now you don't want like really hard, but once you kind of So it's down, slap, down, up, slap. Now, when I do that, I do the down, slap,
So actually, I guess I'm doing it. I'm doing it backwards of what I thought. So I'm doing the downstroke, slap up down, slap up down, slap. Now for you, it may be easy. Maybe it'll feel more natural to go down, slap down, up, slap down, up. Whichever way, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter. Now when I come down to do that slap, the, that kind of that that sound is because the strings are bottoming out, hitting the frets. So you still want to be on the chord, you know, holding your chord. So I'm like down, slap, up, down, slap. So for on the G, down, slap, up, down, slap, up, down, slap, up, down. Now we switch to the F. And we're just going to do and then it goes to a C. So yeah. When we do the C, we go down, or the F, sorry. So I just do down. And then I'm going to switch from there to that C chord that we did earlier. So when I switch to the C, as I'm, I just, I just strum like those first uh, few strings with my first finger here, still on the first fret of the B string. So it's da da da, and then to C. And now we go to C, it's the same strum that we did on G. So it just does that like quite a bit. It repeat. It's like the intro. It's the verse. Um, like I said, it's probably the the majority of the song is just that. So if nothing else, this is a really you know, it's kind of just a good exercise for transitioning with those chords because going between you know anytime you're going to F and away from F, it's always a struggle, especially um, when you're a beginner. So this is really good for just working on that. And then also the uh, for that rhythm for it, like the so we try that really slow. So that strum, if uh, if you've never tried to do anything like this before, at first it can be a little bit tricky to kind of get that rhythm in there. But just kind of think about it the same way, you know, we've talked before about like the, you know. It's that same kind of thing. You just want to kind of get that, you know, like, you know, you're. swing on there. Alright, so I, like I said, it's the intro and then the verse and then that's what leads into the chorus. So if the last time through on that, you know, I could G, So right there, when it normally would change, we just stay on that C, down, up, down, up, down, up, and that's like the da 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 night moves. So the minor, D, C. Okay, I don't think we went over D at the beginning. So really quick, uh, D string is open. I'm on the second fret of the G string with my first finger, third fret of the B string with my third finger, and the. Second fret of the high E with my second finger. So, minor, D, C. so we 
we go to that E minor. So I'm doing that one D, I go down, up, and then I just release the strings and just hit those first, you know, two, three strings, and then that allows me to, so there isn't silence between the chord changes. So e minor, D, C, E minor, back to a chorus and reverse again. So the, uh, those are basically the, the, the two parts of the song. So um, with this, I would practice it just by yourself and really kind of get the feel for it. Listen to the original song to kind of, you know, especially if you're not really familiar with it, to really kind of get that rhythm in your mind and then just start playing along with it. So just kind of help get that timing. So uh, that's it. Those are, like I said, just the you know the main two parts. Um, mostly with this, aside from just being a cool song and you know more material for you to play, it's just a really great exercise for you know developing you know good strumming and everything. So if you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if there's something that you like to see covered in a future lesson, or if you just have any uh, questions about this lesson, or just guitar questions in general. I try to look at all those and answer uh, all of the questions that I can. If you have not already done so, uh, please subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so that you don't miss out any of the content that we upload throughout the week. Alright, so that is all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.